Welcome back to the two minute drill on rotations. I'll show you a, a couple different ways on how you can rotate this form. Okay, one is you can continuously create each line, which is kind of the long way. Uh, you could do them three step front to back. You could select that, control copy, and then just select your lines and then move them over four steps or three steps, however you, know, you wanted to. It's kind of the long way. Uh, but it will assure that your file and your drill is on the grid perfectly. Uh, so it's one way of doing it. Okay. So there is also, we'll put these guys back and try a different method. There's also the rotate tool, which I'm sure you've seen. Rotate. And then we can rotate this 45 degrees. All right, so you notice it's not necessarily on the grid. So let's do this first before we use this tool. Okay, open this thing up, a scale to there, and now you have it on the grid. Okay, you can see that everyone is on there. If you want to test it, you can go to uh, snap to vertical horizontal grid apply. And it looks like it moved just that front line. Okay. Now the way I do my rotations is a, a kind of a different way. Um, I like to use the, uh, the resize tool and I use slant and I'll use two step process with slant. I'll cover them down, accept, and then I'll slant again to I don't, I, the reason I do this is because I know it'll be on the grid and it will look, it'll be exactly the way I want it. And I didn't trust any tools to do it for me. I did it all myself and then I'll just plunk it back on the 50. Okay. Or, I'll, or you can stretch it up, you know, to a four by four, three by three, however you want. You can use the arrow tool and you're all good. So there's several different methods to rotating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe.